This is the Silky Big Boy 2000. This is a great saw. I love it. I take it with me every time I go out four by four and every time I go out in the bush. It's great for cutting brush out of the way, cutting trees out of the way, fall down, stuff like that. It's a folding saw. So it opens up. It's got the blades here. They are very, very, very sharp. So I'd be very careful. Careful when you're closing it. You don't want to get your hand caught in here like this or even here. I've had my thumb caught in here and sliced it up pretty good. It goes pretty deep pretty quickly and uh, you bleed all over the place. Folds up nicely and compactly, fits in a pack, even in a pocket. They do have a holster that comes with it. I don't have that. I just fix I just uh, put it in my pack or uh, put it on the seat in the uh, Jeep when I'm out. Doesn't weigh a whole lot. Seems to be okay. It uh, opens up in two positions. It's got one sort of curved position, one that makes it a little bit flatter. So when you're cutting around trees, you need to get some angle, get some better purchase. I normally cut it in use it in the one one angle this cuts on the back cut so when you're pushing forward you don't need to put a lot of pressure you don't even need to put a lot of pressure on the back cut it will slice through quite easily just just hand tight let me grab let me grab a stick here so you just sort of want to pull it back like that let it get its bite and just sort of rest it like that this does come with different blades. I believe this is just the all around blade that I have in here, but you can get finer teeth and, and uh, coarser teeth on here if you want. They are separate saws. They do come in separate colors. This one is, like I said, the all around. When you're cutting, you can do just a one handed cut or two. You don't need to put a lot of pressure on it. Just let the saw do the work. With this side, generally stick to anything lower than six inches in diameter, so 15 centimeters. It can cut a little bit bigger. You can cut pretty much the length of the saw here if you wanted to, but it's better to keep it small. Plus it's a heck of a lot of effort if you're cutting larger pieces and you might as well take a step up to the other saw that Silky makes is the Katana. The saw also undercuts well. So normally you'd be cutting overhead, but sometimes you need to get underneath or depending on the weight pressure of the, the tree or the limb or the branch, however that's working, you may need to get underneath. I have noticed that the blade can get pinched quite easily. So you need to be careful of that. It is flexible. Oh. Sorry, we got wasps around here that have decided to join me for some reason. It is a flexible blade, so be careful when you're pushing. If you get it pinched, you can snap the blade easily. I haven't. I've tried to be cautious and um, aware when it gets stuck so as to not push it too hard. What I like about this over other saws is that it can fit into tight spaces. So as long as the, the blade can fit in between, you're good to go to start cutting. Other saws such as bow saws, you need more space and you won't be able to fit into the tight spaces you need that openness for the saw to actually work so this is why i like this the grip on this saw is is great i like it they've done a good job of picking the material so it's very grippy even when you're when it's wet and you're sweaty i haven't had a problem with it and this is overall this is my go-to saw this is this is what comes with me 
I'm going to give some other saws a chance, but I don't know. There's, there's just something about this that makes it the perfect all around saw to take with you. I recommend it. Those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me.